happening now, we're keeping a close watch on another stimulus package being discussed by Washington lawmakers. As it stands, this one is a $3 trillion plan that includes another check for you. Well, joining us right now via Zoom is Alabama Senator Doug Jones. Senator Jones, thanks again for joining us this morning. Uh, it's great to be with you guys. Thanks for having me. You bet. We know you're not in Washington right now. You guys are on a holiday break. Let's talk real quick, though, about that $3 trillion stimulus bill. What are the main things in there, the main provisions, and, and do, you, do you actually see it have a chance of passing? Well, I don't think it's got a chance of passing in the form that it's in now. It passed the House of Representatives. Unfortunately, it's become a fairly partisan political issue right now. And I don't think it's, it, uh, and it shouldn't pass the, the way that it is in the form that it's in now. It's not a perfect bill. But there are some really good things in there, I think, for the people of this country, for the people of Alabama. For instance, there's hazard pay for our first line workers to give them some extra uh, pay for being on the front lines of this pandemic and putting them, their lives and their family lives at, at risk. There's um, additional robust funding for cities and counties who has also been on the front lines of this, trying to make sure that our first responders are paid our fire, police, our sanitation, uh, they have lost a lot of money and we need to do some things to help them so that they don't have to start laying off workers. There's more money for uh, a pay, payroll security uh, in the form of uh, kind of a form of something that I've done uh, and proposed, and that is to give businesses the opportunity to get tax credits, immediate refundable tax credits, to keep people on the payroll so that they don't uh, get on the unemployment lines. There's more money for funding for vaccine research, for therapeutic research. There's a lot of really great things in this bill. It's not just a perfect bill, and it will, won't pass the Senate in the form that it's in now. I hope that when we get back up there next week, and in fact, I had asked that we stay this week to try to work this out. I think there's some urgency to it. Senator McConnell said, no, let's go home. I'm hoping that when we get back up there, that the administration and all the leadership in uh, the House and the Senate will sit down and talk and let's get this passed in the same bipartisan way that we did the other packages. All right, Senator, we're seeing a disturbing trend. It's appearing right now that we've seen one of the biggest weekly increases in the state of Alabama in the country. We're really within the last week, last two weeks. What's the cause of the increase in these case numbers? Do you think it's because businesses are opening too soon? Is it a lack of social distancing out there? I don't think it's necessarily because businesses are opening too soon. We have to get away to try to open back up and try to get money flowing into the economy once again. But I do think that there is a, a problem with, with people out there who there's a lot of anxiety. Their people have been pent up, they've been at home, they're ready to get out uh, and do some things. And so when they start hearing that things are opening back up, that's about the only thing they hear sometimes and they don't listen to the messages that the governor has given that Scott Harris, the public uh, 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 health officer has, has given and all of the public health officials across the country. And that is, yeah, open up some, go back, do it safely, do it healthy, social distance and wear masks. I think those are really important and it's not something we're used to. It's a very difficult thing to try to get used to do. But I think if people will do that, then we can open up this uh, economy safely uh, and we can hopefully stop this, uh, a second surge or at least keep that at a minimum. I think people have to take a lot of personal responsibility and it's difficult to do. A lot of it's getting politicized again and, and that's not a good thing. This is people's health and safety. So I, I just encourage people when they get out there, listen to the health experts, wear the mask, wear, you know, uh, stay the social distancing, do those kind of things and we'll be okay but people need to remember what we're doing now is going to dictate what we get to do in the fall, uh, which may mean sports and college football, uh, even later in the summer. We need to take uh, extra precautions right now because the virus is still out there. It's still serious. It's still deadly. Senator, we talked to you. We've got about 30 seconds left, but you mentioned something about personal protective equipment and, and really the need for us to bring that kind of manufacturing back here because we were at a scramble at the beginning of this pandemic. Very quickly, if you could tell us, what do you think should happen there? I think a couple of things. Number one, I'd, I'd like to see Congress pass the bill I introduced last week to give businesses tax incentives, uh, training incentives, uh, and broadband incentives to bring those uh, jobs here. Let's manufacture those masks, those gowns, the face shields right here in this country. And I think Alabama has got an opportunity to lead the way in that. So if we can get that bill passed, the one thing that we know we've got to do, we've got to have that and not be so dependent on foreign countries like China. We've got to have that manufacturing 
right here in this country going forward. Alabama Senator Doug Jones, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you, guys. It's my pleasure being with you. We appreciate you, sir. And the